Hey, and welcome to today's bass guitar tutorial for the song Crowns. This is by Hillsong Worship, and we're going to be in the original key of G major. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break the song down section by section and show you what you can do on bass guitar when playing this by yourself or on a worship team. So let's get started with verse 2. The bass guitar sits out on verse 1. <clears throat> in the intro comes in on verse two and just plays uh just plays one note per chord change so here here's the here's the here's verse two is it i should profit e he is crucified e and as his life Okay, so the, the important thing to do is just make sure the changes are really smooth. Um, try to, try to uh, just only play the note that uh, you're supposed to be playing. And let it ring out every time. C, G, two, four, B, and then D, and then G. Okay, so then that brings us to the first chorus, and in the first chorus, the bass doesn't play in the recording, but if you wanted to, um, if it's okay with your team, uh, you could just play one, one, just whole, whole notes or half notes, I guess, and it's every two beats, so it's my wealth is in the cross there's nothing more i want than just to know his love c g d e c g pretty simple d e and then c g and then d And then this is going to be into the third verse. All right, so verse three, uh, it, it's going to be a little bit bigger than the first or the second verse that we played in, um, and you can do kind of some some transitionary notes, so something like. I will not boast in riches, but still make sure you hit the notes. Then you can build, you can uh, jump the octave right there at the end. And in his name alone, my wealth is in the cross. And then that'll lead you into the chorus. Okay, so in this chorus, it's a little bit bigger. So um, we just built out of the third verse. My wealth is in the cross. And this would be the instrumental. So the rest of the song, pretty much aside from the verses, is just that same progression: C, G, D, E minor, and then, or E for bass. So kind of mix it up a little bit. Use use some higher octaves. So for instance. Um, on the recording, if you listen to the bass, he's doing some like... The 
most important thing really is that you hit the bass note. So just as long as you hit the bass note, all those other little filler notes that I'm doing um, are nice, but first and foremost, you you need to play the bass note right when it needs to be played. And then you can add in some of those things. And, and I just encourage you kind of go through your scale, so a G major scale. And pretty much any of those notes are fair game. If you want to simplify it, you could just do My wealth is in the cross, there's nothing more I want Just and two and three and four and But do something more to kind of build, build the song a little bit. So one of the things that Hillsong really likes to do is they like to, at the end of phrases or instrumentals, they like to build. So for instance, on that instrumental, build. So you'll you're, you'll hear the drummer kind of build, and the bass goes with him. That's pretty much it for this song. We covered all the major sections. Again, just listen to the original recording. Make sure that you're familiar with the dynamics and everything. And above all else, just make sure that you hit the bass note on the right beat and later on you can add in those transitionary uh, notes in between the bass notes but first and foremost get the bass notes down and if you need any other resources on worship be sure to check us out at pursuegod.org worship and subscribe to our channel and we hope to see you next time